about it. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Let me see if this is done yet. No. 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 Uh, is oh. that you, John? Ah! It is. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> me too. Uh, hey, pretty clever stuff, huh? Yeah. Flaming nostrils. It's amazing. It really is. Well, hey, this lights out stuff. Oh, I don't look know at the nose. No, no, what no, I what? think of that. <laughs> you got to be very careful. Yes, There's I a know, lot of stuff laying watch around. It, watch it. Don't. Ah. Wait. Wait. Well, I don't know. I can't. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I oh. think there's something here somewhere, yeah. but I'm not. Oh! <coughs> oh, now you put your foot in it. Oh, Jeez. Among other parts. Amazing. Star Wars. Yes. <laughs> now the lights. Where is the fuse box? Just go it's over, over and here bang somewhere. The Let thing. me just here. Just hit it. There you go. That got it. It's much oh, brighter hi. in here. It's much well, brighter in here. I can see now. Yeah, the crew's playing tricks on us today. Somebody wrote in and said, "What can you do when the lights are out?" I'm not sure. I think I sort of liked the show better when the lights uh -huh. weren't out. It made a lot more yes. sense when, it, when uh -huh. it wasn't out. Do you know what I'm going to do today? Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to do uh, gazpacho. Do uh -huh. you remember gazpacho uh -huh. and uh, Pinocchio? Right. Uh -huh. And gazpacho was a guy that, no, that was uh -huh. Geppetto, right. wasn't it? Oh, Geppetto, me, Pinocchio, and gazpacho, and the a reason, famous Italian brothers. The reason that I'm doing this is because you don't need any electricity for it whatsoever. It's any a cold soup. Right. And I'm going to do a recipe that Holly McCoy sent in from Ranford, Virginia. And I got to tell you, folks, I can only just barely taste this because it was is your nose closed up no, again? No, not instant death for anybody that's borderline diabetic or diabetic. Oh. This recipe has got so much sugar in it that it will keep your kids awake for three days. <laughs> They'll hmm. go nuts, totally crazed. They'll be totally out of hand. This is surely a sugar shack recipe. Yeah? Hmm. Mm, sugar shack. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice uh, flashlights. Yeah. Huh? Do we get to keep these well, as a result I, I of this program? No, the station no, buy these? The, the power goes out here so often <laughs> that they need them around. Yeah, here. there are yeah. literally entire weeks that go by yeah. when this is the only thing that keeps the station right. going, right? Or, or manages it. Talk about your powers that be. <laughs> Well, we can put it over here on the stove since we're not going well, to. Let me just do this recipe. This recipe is so easy, any fool could do it. Well, don't Speak. look at me when you say that. <laughs> oh, me, it is. All right, now, really and truly, this recipe. And, is, and you don't need electricity no, for this. No, no electricity just needed need for this recipe. You need a big bowl and a brave heart. All right, you start off with a cup. This is a five cup salad. This is what this thing is five called. Five cup salad. It's a, and the first cup of anything is a cup of sugar. Good heavens. You're right about that. Any salad that has a cup of sugar I in, know. I'm on already top worried of all about all this other stuff. And then you add to it a cup of marshmallows. Now, is, Let that, me put, is that really sugar you should just put yeah. in? Yeah, yes. It, watch out. Don't trip over that can again, Bly. Oh, no. I want to see if old Maureen was paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Because you know she wasn't. She's in there planning on what she's going to scarf up on when the show is over today. What she's going to eat. Uh, it's all her husband Bill needs is to have her come home looped out oh, on don't sugar. Tell me now there's going to be a cup of those go in in yes. addition to the sugar. A cup of marshmallows. Good heavens. Well, rot your teeth out eating oh, this. Oh, I know. And now a cup. Oh, well, let me put this in for uh, English walnuts. I guess you could use black walnuts, but they'd give you a real tang. All right, a cup of English walnuts, and then a cup of fruit cocktail, which we will open with our non-electric can opener. What happened to the electric one that that person sent us? I think it got junked. Because it, you know, it didn't work too good. Yeah, I, and right. and the fact that I knocked it apart accidentally on the air didn't help it too well either. So let me just measure out a cup of fruit cocktail. Did you all used to just eat this as dessert, open these fruit cocktail oh, yeah. cans up sure. and serve them, put some banana in it? And my brother, Mike. That's real and big me, where I came from. We'd get in a big fight, you know, over whether or not. Uh, he got a, more cherries, cherries than I yeah. did. <laughs> I don't know whether, you, do you know that there is a big deal going on right now with the Cherry Association about uh, red dye number oh, two? Oh, I know. Did you know that a cherry will not keep its its redness in this juice? Uh -huh. And the only way they can do it is put red dye number two in. Well, or whatever, it's another number now. They've already banned number two. Yeah. This is a, 
they're, oh, what are we gonna do with dead looking cherries? And a cup of sour cream, which is eight ounces, and I, I and you know, uh, old Holly gives us this cautionary note on this recipe that, you know, not to use too much sugar, but not to use too much sour cream. So that's one cup of sour cream, and then you mix it all together, and you serve it, and that's it. Is that all? That's it. They is to it? That's all they is to this recipe. Well, it, it and I, I looks will real mix good. And I will now for a good little while, and then we, you can come back to me, and we'll see if anybody is dead yet from this thing. Gosh, oh my okay. mess. I guess you have to mix it until the sugar dissolves. I'm going to do this gazpacho, and you start out with a, a can of whole tomatoes, a 16 ounce can. I couldn't find a 16 ounce, so I had to go for a 14 and a half. I hope nobody will get offended by it. I'm going to take that and put it in a big bowl, and make sure you got something over the front of you because you're going to have to squish this stuff. You got to squish it. And I just know it's going to squirt out all over the camera lenses. Well, it certainly isn't squishing very well. But that's what it says you have to do. You know, I... Ah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm terrible. I think this would be so much better in a blender. But as you know, we, we've got to pretend like we don't have any electricity. So you have no choice. You're just going to have to chop it up with your bare hands like that and hope that you don't get too big a lumps or you're going to offend someone later on when you go to put this stuff out in the bowl. So just squish it around with an ordinary squisher, one of these old time mashed potato squishers. <laughs> Doris just uh, is afraid that uh, she's going to have her eye put out. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Now it's very important that you squish it up real good because you don't want a great big piece of it flopping out when you go to serve it. Would somebody hand me that syringe of insulin? Mm, boy, that looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> now that's the first part of the gazpacho. Next thing you gotta do after you've mashed them up with potato masher, then you put everything else in. That is 46 ounce can of tomato juice. That goes in there. Looks like it's right heavy on the tomato, doesn't it? And a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Excuse me, folks. Quarter cup of vegetable oil. Not much. Just a little. All right, a quarter of a cup. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar snappy it up a little bit. One, two. <laughs> well, it is. And a clove of Graylick minced, it says here. All right, I typed it wrong. <laughs> Last week it was garland squashed. <laughs> this week it's Graylick minced. <laughs> I just love kidding, Johnson. Johnson cannot type the word garlic, I've I decided. Swear, and I've got a typewriter that corrects I spelling. Know. <laughs> it is the only word that he has terrible problems with, and it's just consistent. He's very consistent about it. So we're going to take that and we're going to have to mince this up, but except I don't want to mince it. I'm tired of mincing. I'm just going to squish it because it'll take all week and I don't have all week. Although I do have the biggest portion of the show yet, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I better think about it. <laughs> and then several hearty grinds of pepper. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hang on a second here. I've got to i got to find some pepper. Yeah, where is your pepper grinder? I forgot my pepper, pepper grinder. Oh. I'm very embarrassed. Uh, oh, well. I was using it on a, a chili recipe yesterday. I was. And just That's take fine. it a little easy on the pepper. Oh, my. Oh, it's good. Pepper's good for you. No one ever died of too much pepper. Remember that. you probably die from all the salt in this tomato juice, but you we won't croak from the pepper. That's getting a good oily skim on it now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it calls for, folks. <laughs> now you take a small cuke and you got to peel it, seed it, and shred it. This should take a while, theoretically. Well, let's hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, the cukes don't look too good at this time of the year here when we're doing this. And now Mr. Johnson is going to do tricks with the flashlight. I'm just going to get plenty of light on here so they can 
get a good shot of it. Thank you. Especially an overhead shot. Uh-huh, yeah. We're just going to take that and peel it right off uh -huh. of there. You know, I have my union card in this, in stage lighting here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Maureen I, yeah, I've seen you. Sound. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen both of you do this routine. Now, now watch out, times. Bly. Don't cut yourself with that knife. Don't drop that knife. Oh, oh. You know, I'm Let's, anxious to see the playback on yeah. this to see if any of it makes any sense at all. Because yeah. from out here, none of it does. We can't tell if Maureen is awake. See, we don't know. And you, even if you see her, you don't know. <laughs> so anyway, you know that's how she got married. Now here's what I like to do. Take this and cut it in half and then take an ordinary spoon and just spoon all these. Scrape out the guts. Scrape out those seeds. You don't want those seeds in there. Because if you've got diverticulitis, it'll just tear you up. I don't have, but. Well, a lot of our viewers probably do. <laughs> I know they're going to have diabetes after they eat this five can salad or whatever it is. Now what we have to do is shred this stuff. Oh, I almost dropped it in there. Now this is not going to be easy to shred, but I'll do the best I can. <laughs> Just I shred this stuff in there. I think my marshmallows are melting. <laughs> <laughs> And it's important that you get, don't drop any big stuff in there because you're not going to cook this at all. So nothing is going to get any softer than it is when you throw it in there. Remember that. I'm going to take the other half here. We don't have to use the whole thing. It calls for a small or medium. What's it call for? It calls for a small cuke, and this was a medium one. So we don't use it all. Now, what up. is the difference? Can you explain that to no, our viewers? I really don't. About this much. <laughs> all right, there's that. Oh, let's mix that around in there. Mm -mm. I love gazpacho. I'll never forget that terrible thing you did to us out on the boat one time, though, mm -hmm. Johnson. You did a low down trick. Everybody was supposed to bring something homemade. And so Johnson brings gazpacho, and everybody went wild over how delightful and wonderful it was. Come to find out it was some of It was Campbell's. It was Campbell's own with some vodka in it. <laughs> I think it was the vodka that threw yeah, everybody nobody, off. Nobody realized that uh, the Campbell Soup Company had come out with a can gazpacho. At, at almost $2 a pound, this precious thing called a tomato. Mm -hmm. What I would do if I were you is de-seed it as we always try to do. That's, yeah. that's real attractive, isn't it? Get the seeds out of there. You don't want all those seeds in there. Now, now what we got to do is up in there and clean it out. We got. Good. I don't want to put my fingers up, but you put your fingers up in there and clean it out. Now we're going to chop it all up, and I would suggest you chop it real well, real well. I, you know, the wonderful thing about this soup is you can you can eat it hot if you want to. Mm -hmm. Most people prefer it cold, but I, there is uh, one of those uh, Brazilian Italian restaurants in town that serves it hot, and it is wonderful. What? Move the grater. I swear this you is. Need, oh, you might need it again. No, please you don't. don't. Need it I do. Leave it. Leave it. You know, I've seen, the, the, you remember I was telling you about that guy at lunch today that, that's on one of the cable channels cooking? Yeah. What? And, he, and when he's got his knife, I've never seen anybody with such knife technique. He, uh, let me show you this for a second. All right. When he gets going, he goes like this. He hits his hand, he goes, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and Does he throw it all over the floor like that? Oh, I wonder if Maureen got that one. Look out for that floor, oh, Larry. Oh, oh no. <laughs> We're getting good that. at this oh. now. <laughs> if they just match up the sound effects okay. Here, let me wipe sense. off that little piece down here on the floor. So <laughs> use now be very hand. careful. Don't yeah. fall, Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's only got four cuts of oh, sound does she? Effects, well, so we've used them up. Oh, that's a but shame. But we'll call for another one. <laughs> no, I'll while. bet she's missed at least three cues. Oh, so no, I think she we has. still have plenty left. <laughs> Okay, now I've chopped that all up pretty good. You don't want any real big pieces, so make sure you mince that up pretty good. And now we're going to throw that in there. How much of that do you have to have? Just one tomato chopped oh. up. Isn't that interesting? You, you mash one, you chop one. Well, actually, you mash a whole bunch of them. You chop one. 
it's real strange. Seems to me like this is right heavy on the tomato, but I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. Now, the next thing we gotta do now is start working on a, a medium carrot which has to be scraped and shredded. There's just an awful lot of scraping and shredding that has to go out here, so I'm gonna scrape it first. It's a shame you don't have anything to do today, Johnson. I know, Johnson. I, I could have. I'm well, surprised I know, you but I had to give my life for this salad, which is eating the marshmallows. I'm surprised They're you losing bulk. Bothered to show up. <laughs> Yeah, put them in the refrigerator. I don't want to. Oh. I want to see if this thing will explode. I know it'll burn. Now we're going to shred this also. This should be right good. While I'm shredding this, maybe we'll look at the recipes. Okay. I'm sure that uh, five cup salad from old Holly McCoy in Radford, cup of fruit cocktail, one of sugar, one of sour cream, one of English walnuts, and a cup of marshmallows. It's your cup of salad. You mix them all together and chill it. The easy gazpacho, one 16 ounce can of whole tomatoes, which you will squish your dickens out of, one 46 ounce can of tomato juice, quarter of a cup of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, a clove of garlic minced, I just kind of squished mine, several hearty grinds of pepper, which I forgot all together, small cuke peeled, seeded and shredded, medium tomato chopped, medium carrot scraped and shredded, and a small green epper, <laughs> finely chopped. <laughs> That's what it says, oh. a fine, and this, ladies and gentlemen, in case you don't know, is an epper. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. How much? I, I dated a girl named Epper one time. Did you really? Uh-huh. Olivia Cut that Epper. And just reach in there, don't be delicate about it, and just pull all the stuff out of it. And the seeds. And people that take too long with peppers irritate me. Mm -hmm. They really do. A small green pepper. <laughs> this looks like a right large I one. I think it's right. It also it. looks right nasty. Oh, it's oh. got some Woo. corruption down I'm going to leave that part of it out, and I'm going to wash this oh. part. We got hold of a bad pepper. This pepper grew in a foreign field and foreign bugs got into it. Yes, it's true. However, way, I have way a, overseas. I have saved enough of it that we could eat. <laughs> Either that or it was I involved the part in the recent fierce and inclement weather that has ruined all the vegetables. All right, now you this shred this in here. Shred this in here. This is the secret part. Isn't that pretty? It really is lovely. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not that pretty, but. It'd be, oh, a big piece went in there. Oh, no. We don't want that. Yeah. This uh, pepper is not doing so well on the shredder. This is why it would be so nice if we just had a, a blender, but we can't do it with the lights out. We've got show. one, but we can't do it. We can't do it today. We don't have any electrical power. And put that in there. Now, there put, couldn't possibly be anything else that goes in there. So no, thank heavens there isn't. So now we just mix that all around. And there is, now you know, I think if we had some, and if we didn't have a lot of people we get uptight about, you could put a little snort of vodka in there mm -hmm. at this point. Oh yeah. And it would be real good if you like that sort of thing. If you don't like that sort of thing, then just forget yeah, about it. Kids do not use no, the vodka No, do not use home. the vodka. This is a perfectly wonderful soup the way it is right here, right now, theoretically, although it doesn't look like much to me. Okay. That's that. That's our soup. Oh, wonderful. It is. And right, we only we have about 15 more minutes to go. Now, how much time? Well, we got the witch. She, she said she had a special here. message for us. Special message. So come on. Well, come here, honey. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yes, it is. Just <laughs> truly amazing. How about that? Can you? <laughs> oh. Oh, look, it's a, a memo from the witch. It's not a letter. And uh -oh. it says, anniversary, 10 and 40. Huh? Next week, we're going to have our an, an anniversary show. Oh. An anniversary party, and it'll be the anniversary, our 10th anniversary here on Cooking Cheap. Yep, we've been on for 10 years, longest running show on TV from that viewpoint. I believe today is the longest running show. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it was last week. Oh, yeah, and, no, uh, that's right. We've also, had Doris and Harold will be celebrating their 40th anniversary. Let's hear it for Doris and Harold's yeah. 40th anniversary. Yes, yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen.
We'd like to present them with this lovely bottle of uh, red wine vinegar. Partially and, uh, used. That. Call it. That's it. That's, that's enough. That's enough. That's and enough. we got to tell you, you know, they were married. Their their marriage was arranged by their parents when they were very very young. Uh huh. You know, <laughs> because they have not. You well, know, they're not it, old do we enough. we have some letters? Well, so? yes, we do. As a matter of fact, some people have been saying, why don't you read the letters and we've got them. I've been saying it for the last five minutes. Well, here, let me give you a... Oh, it's all right. You read so well. Well, you, ah, you just take a pile of them there. <laughs> this is from uh, Canada. Uh-huh. From Paulette Drysdale. Paulette uh -huh. <laughs> Good save, right? <laughs> Holy moly. Boy, right. if, I'd, if, I'd, if that would have flown up against that window, it probably would have made a breaking noise. Anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you missed that one. Too. All right. Uh, this, what? Paulette says, Dear Sir or Madam. <laughs> uh, there are no madams around here that we know of. Uh, I was home from work due to illness recently oh, and was very terrible. pleased to catch your fantastic cooking show. I have, could, I have never enjoyed watching two men cook with such enthusiasm and natural humor. <laughs> Indeed, I began to, to recuperate immediately. Please send me a copy of your uh, recipes. I will soon be purchasing a VCR and intend to tape your show so that I can enjoy it with my dinner. And it's Paulette Drysdale from uh, Arms, Armdale, Nova Scotia in Canada. Well, thank you, honey. We appreciate it. And uh, we'd like to watch this show with our dinner, too. <laughs> well, here's something we don't get very often. Not only has someone sent us a recipe, they've actually sent us something to do something oh. with. Says, Dear Larry and Laban, I see your show every day and need the laughs. Uh, anyway, and, and keep up your famous humorous pranks. Says, Enclosed is a wonderful drink on me. Spiced yeah. cider. I just know you'll love it as I do hot. But I hate to tell you, but when it got here, it was cold. It, what can I tell you? I don't, let's, so go, I, let's go taste this stuff. Why? Don't take two minutes to taste it. Well, if you well, want to, you can. I, I don't I care. want to get over there. Six I, more letters. Oh, I'd be happy like, to read like a couple a, more letters. Like a bug here oh, in mine. Oh, good heavens. It doesn't look pretty. Neither does this. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. None of this looks pretty. Oh, okay. Hey, have some of this gazpacho. All right. And you have some of this. Uh, no, it's all right. Preserved five cup salad. Let me set the bowl over here. It's so big, it'll take up the whole table. I want to make sure you mm, get plenty. Boy, Laban, that looks good. Do I drink it? Oh, look at the flowers. Now, when, oh, yeah, when we we're taping this, this, it is the dead of February. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? 19 and 90. And the and very lovely uh, Mrs. Doris. Ford brought that in for us today. And look at that. In, in the middle of February of Virginia, you don't see this kind of flower arrangement ever. But spring has become six weeks early but this it's year. all natural, every bit of it. Well, I'll try this uh, interesting and humorous, uh, uh, what is it? Five cup salad. Five cup salad. And I'll try this delicious looking gazpacho. Tastes like solid sugar. <laughs> it does, it's real sugary. Mmm, gazpacho's not bad. Really? I think I would add a dash of hot sauce or a yeah. little more vinegar, but it's really tasty. A little on the tame side, mm -hmm. perhaps? Well, you might want to keep that in mind if you want to jazz it up a little bit. Let me try here. Well, it is right presentable. Not bad at all. It was so simple to make. It just didn't seem like it could be good. But it is, he's right. You want to jazz it up a little bit, you put a little snappy peppy in it. Boy, well, that's about it. That's Boy, that's salad. sweet, isn't it? Woo! That's a dessert. That's not a salad, folks. That's a dessert. You're right. Bye.